When, when I'm asked about what Alice is, the easiest answer that I can give people is that it is a tool to help prepare students for the 21st century, the century we're living in now. It is a tool to develop fundamental understanding of programming principles, of working in a digital technology, digital economy, but also to develop problem-solving techniques so that students are equipped to move on into whatever field of study they eventually study. It was originally designed to create uh, an understanding of fundamental problems because students coming to their first programming class were not very successful. They were having a hard time because they weren't well prepared and that the expectations of the, of the professors was maybe higher than what the students could meet. And so very talented students often would get frustrated and they would leave. But Alice, because it uses 3D graphics and animation, is able to allow students to work with computers as they understand them and in an environment that they're comfortable with. And so they start off just by dragging and dropping code, not typing code, which minimizes the amount of errors that they can make at the beginning. And as they get comfortable, then you can start taking away some of that support structure and they are still able to be successful. Alice is finding itself in a lot of different areas in a school curriculum. First and foremost, it's being found in the IT curriculum in the information technology area where people are just interested in teaching about technology and about um, programming. But because it, you, it's about animation, Teachers have found that they can use Alice to tell stories and create um, animations, create presentations, so that Alice is finding itself in language arts, in history classes, in English classes, because students can create stories and create presentations with 3D graphics, which are more interesting and engaging for not only themselves, but the people they work with. And so, and in doing that, they're still reinforcing the problem-solving techniques that Alice is interested in. And so, Alice is a tool that has a great deal of rele relevance, of course, for programming, which is what it was designed for. But it is also very important for developing other schools to create a well-rounded and a much stronger student going forward. I have really enjoyed the opportunity to work with the teachers that have been with us this week at this workshop and to get to know and interact with the colleagues from the Sadovsky Foundation. I am very impressed with the teachers, with their eagerness and how hard they work in order to master the materials. They um, not only absorb what we're telling them, but they are thinking about it and trying to move forward and think of other ways that they can use the material. It's always great for an instructor, and I started off as a teacher myself, to work with students who are excited about learning and want to learn, and that's exactly what I'm finding with uh, the participants in the workshop. And it's great to work with colleagues who have a passion for the work that they're doing, and that's what I'm finding with, with uh, my colleagues at Sadovsky. The impact of Alice has been very surprising to us. Initially, it was designed to just help students in first-year college courses become successful that they could move on and develop successful careers in computer science. And now we have found that we are in 15 to 20 percent of all universities in the United States. We're in three to four thousand different school districts in the United States. And not only that, we have become uh, available and popular in Latin America. We have done workshops here in Argentina, of course, but we have also presented in Brazil, in Colombia, in Costa Rica. And we've also heard from Peru and um, Ecuador in terms of their interest. And so there's a great deal of interest in Alice just in Latin America.